Hello, good evening, everyone. Good night, teacher. Hi, good evening. Welcome. Welcome to the class. How are you, everyone? Is everybody well? Very good? Very good. Very good? Fine. All right. Good. Hi, good evening. For the ones that are new in the group, my name is Sandra. I'm going to be your teacher, and it's a pleasure to be here with you. Welcome, Luis Alberto, Mauricio Enrique. Welcome. We have Cristia Mejibar. Welcome, Media. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome, Wilbur. Good evening. Ceres. Thank you. Welcome. Good evening. Welcome, Karen. Welcome. Elvis Quevedo, welcome. We have Lisette Alvarado. We have Sarina Susana. Welcome. Who else we have? Jennifer, Karen. Who else we have? Bryant, Wendy Lisette, and Iris Milena. Welcome, everyone. How was your weekend? Very nice, coach. It was very good? Yeah. Yes. Very nice. What did you do? Did you go to the beach? Did you watch series? What did you do? Um, Saturday, I go to the party with my friends. Ah, that's good. You went to the party. That's good. <laughs> nice. That's really nice. nice. Yes, night. No. Yeah. That is very good. All right. Guys, welcome to the model number three. We're on model three already. So fast, right? You are on this model now. And we have the execution dates. These ones are from September, right? From today. September. Uh -huh. So we have from September 25th to October 19th. We are going to continue here. Okay. As we know here, we always have like five sections. In section one, this one, we are going to study about what are you going to do? This ones are referring to life forms of the future. And as we know here, we have, let's write this ones. In the home here of the homework and evaluations, right? Week one, we have section one and also section two. In the week two, we're going to see section three and the midterm. <laughs> Okay. In the week three, we have only section four. Then we have week four, section five, and the final exam. So we have in week one is uh, section one and two, right? A veces, eh, a veces el tema se extiende y puede hacer que nos pasemos a la semana dos, pero siempre cubrimos el material, okay? Let's continue there. with other slideshow. Let's erase this one. And let's mark here. As we know here, our topic of the first section that's going to be, what are you going to do? We have this one. And it says, by the end of this class, you will learn the month and dates. Additionally, you will learn about birthdays. So we're going to mention and express like, when is your birthday, right? Specific dates that we are going to learn about. And to start, we're going to see about ordinal numbers. So which are the ordinal numbers that we have here? Well, we have that. We normally add a TH to the end of a cardinal number to make it an ordinal number. We know ordinal is like they have an order, right? If it's first, second, third. So for example here, if we have the first one, right? In number one, you include Esti, 
to express that is first. Then we have second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Let's erase this. This part. Yes. All right, so let's continue here. Then we have um, on the 11th. We have the 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th. Then we continue, right? As we have a 20 and then we have another not first, then we say 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, 40th, 41st, 50th, 51st. So in like that, you continue repeating the same routine, right? So here we have like the dates. As we mentioned before, to the number, to the normal number, we include the ST. Basically, first, second, and third, they are different. But from the fourth, you include the TH. Notice here, TH, TH, TH. But they have some, like a, a different manner to spell it. Now, for example, if you have here uses of ordinal numbers in the dates, for example, we can use them. Her birthday is on the 29th. So we have a specific date. Centuries. Shakespeare was born in the 16th century. You see, we have two H here. Floors of a building. Do you remember when you saw about the houses and you saw about the buildings in Model 2? You studied that, right? Like the parts of the house and also the apartments that they are not in the same level, but they have the first floor, the second floor, the third floor, so different levels. So for that, you can include also an ordinal number. But we have a video about it, which we're going to watch. Let's see here. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn the months and... No problem with the video? No. No? no. no? Okay, no. very good. No. Thank you. Additionally, you'll learn about birth dates. Let's get started by listening and practicing the months and date. Practice the months and the dates. Months. January. February. March. April. May. June. July. August. September. October. November, December. Dates. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 
Thirtieth. Thirty-first. Now let's learn how to talk about your birthday. The question is, when is your birthday? My birthday is on April fifth. To express birthdays or to express any particular date, we can follow this next formula. That's special day plus the verb to be plus the preposition on plus month plus the date. Let's put that formula into practice. My birthday is on April 5th. Special day is my birthday. Then we include the verb to be is. After that, we need to add the preposition on. Next, we add the month April. Uh, finally, we include the date let me give one more example. When is Independence Day in the U.S.? Independence Day is on July 4th. The uh, special day is Independence Day. Then we include the verb to be is. After that, we need to add the preposition on. Next, we add the month July. And finally, we include the date, fourth. Now it's your turn to practice by expressing the special days or holidays from your country. For example, New Year's Day, Valentine's Day, Independence Day, or Christmas. After you finish this task, share your work in our discussion forum. All right, as you could observe there on the video, there we have the ordinal numbers as they have different order right in the ones that you can call different things or to give birthdays of that so let's check here we have some examples that you also saw in the video that you have when is your birthday and we can give right for example my birthday is on april 5th if we observe here the order that we have you have my birthday is on you mentioned the month Let's check here the month, the month, and then you mention the ordinal number. Now we have another question. It says, when is Independence Day in the U.S.? We know that it's on 4th of July. But also another manner to express it will be Independence Day is on July 4th. So we have the month and we have the ordinal number. The structure that we follow is the special day. Then we include the verb to be, as we notice here, the verb to be. Then we have on. This preposition is referring to a specific time. And as we are mentioning a specific day and a specific date, then we need to include on. After that, we include the month. And finally, we include the date or the ordinal number here. So my birthday is on April 5th. Independence Day is on July 4th. Questions? Questions so far? We're going to see more examples. No question, coach. Questions? Okay, no. let's go ahead with other examples. Let's check our, the, the next one that we have. 
Okay, with these examples, we can mention like other holidays that we have. For example, New Year's Day. When is New Year's Day? <laughs> To celebrate, right? The beginning of another year. So it's in January. January. Then we have Valentine's Day. What we celebrate on Valentine's Day? Yeah. We celebrate friendship, right? With our friends. We celebrate love with your boyfriend, with your girlfriend, with the husband, with the wife. Also... Independence Day. Yeah. We know we celebrate, yeah. right? Independence Day was very recent here in our country. Yeah. Christmas. Do you celebrate Christmas? Yes. Yes. You do yes. it? Yes. You always celebrate it? All right. Yes. What about? Uh -huh. Tell me. Yes, I celebrate. You celebrate it? What about Mother's Day? Do you celebrate Mother's Day? Yes. yes yes you do it yes. excellent okay now let's mention other other holidays that are like yes. important or that we can yes. celebrate too yes. which are others yes. others that we can yes. celebrate the Mother's other Day. celebrates for example uh -huh. uh, how do you say bautizo in english baptism baptism just that that one is not a baptism, it's not like a holiday. Mm. Uh -huh. It needs to be holiday. O sea que bautizo no sería como un... It's a una celebration. celebration. It is a celebration. Sí, we can include it. Just remember it's not a holiday, right? Sí, sí, sí. Ah, okay. But we can include it, right? Like a celebration, a baptism... Uh, Father's Day? I'm sorry. Halloween. Sorry? Halloween. Halloween. También podría, podría ser como el Día de la Raza Humana. Okay, yes, that is ser. true. The race day is true because in the world we celebrate that. The race Día day. de los Muertos. Oh, yes, that is true. Yes, the death day. Holiday week. Father's Day. Father's Day, correct, yes. Father's Day. Holiday Day. Week. I'm sorry? Holiday Week. Kids Day. Oh, Holy Week. Holy Week. Holy Week. Holy Week, like Semana Santa, you mean? Yes. Holy yes. Week. Holy Week. Holy Kids week. Day. Holy Week. Holy, Holy week. week. Semana Santa, uh huh. Holy Week. Which is the other one? Children's Day. Day is true. That's another important day. Yes, we got Children's Day. Teacher Day. Teacher's Day. Yeah, that's another day. That's a holiday. Children's uh, Day. Worker Day. Ah, uh, yeah, that would be like a Labor Day. Porque es el día del trabajo, like Labor Day. Labor Day, you mentioned Teacher's Day. And we have a lot of celebrations, right? Yeah, but not true. all of them, they have vacation, right? Not all of them. Only some of them is that they are on vacations. Sure. Hello? Children's Day. Children's Day. Children's Day, correct. We have Children's Day, Labor Day. Teacher's Day, Doctor's Day, that's another holiday, right? That people celebrate. So if they are doctors, they celebrate this special date too. The doctor. Aha, uh -huh. the Doctor's Day. Aha. Uh -huh. the, the Secretary Day. The Secretary's Day, that's correct. So we have a lot of, but a lot of celebrations. The Nurse Day. The Nurse Day. The Nurse Day. So we have a lot of them, right? It's a variety of celebrations that we have in our country, but also in internationally in all the world. Then we have here some other questions and we are going to answer them. The first one, when is your birthday? My birthday, My birthday. is on 
And we're going to include the special day. What will be the special day for you? Luis Alberto, when is your birthday? Uh, perdón. When is your birthday? My birthday is on? Teacher. Tell me. Puedo contestar yo. Ok, go ahead. Go ahead, Lizeth. My birthday, my birthday is uh, on May, May 1. On May, ajá. Uh -huh. Try to use like a, on the May, ordinary. On May. on May 1st. No, on May 1st. So we can practice May, the ordinal. First. Yeah, first. First, go right first. on May first. Oh, ah, so on your May birthday first. is on the Labor's Day. Yes. yes. It's on the Labor yes. Day. Yeah. That's good yes. because you always have a day off. <laughs> right? I have a vacation. Uh-huh. You have vacation on your birthday. Uh, I celebrate um um go um where do Playa. you go? You go to the beach? Yes. Hey, that is very nice. That's a good celebration. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Yes. Where about you, you, Luis? Luis Alberto, when is your birthday? Birthday is on my... Your birthday, yours. Your... Is it on January, February, March, April? April. On April, okay. It's in April. On April. What is the specific day? Birthday in April. April. ¿Qué día? ¿Qué día de abril? What day? Uh, three, three. On April. Three. All right. So you say my birthday. Is on April 3rd. So we use Wait. ordinal numbers because that is very specific, right? My birthday is on April 3rd. That's all right. Good one. What about you, Wendy? Wendy Lisette? The microphone, please. <laughs> okay. Thank sorry. you, uh, My birthday is on November 21st. On November 21st. Very good. Thank you. That's good. Yesenia Palacios, what about you? When is your birthday? My birthday is May 24th. May 24th. Uh -huh. That's right. Thank you. Rosa Irma, when is your birthday? My birthday is on July 7th. On July 7th, that's cool. Yes, Nidia, <clears throat> when is your birthday? My birthday is um, May 16th. May, May 16th, okay, that's good. It is. When is your birthday? My birthday is on May 8th. May 8th, okay, we have many of you there on May. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That's a coincidence. <laughs> Camila, what about you? When is your birthday? My birthday is July 3rd. On July 3rd. 3rd. Very good. Nice. Wilfer, what about you? When is your birthday? Yes. Yes, Wilfer. When is your um, birthday? My birthday is on October 20th. 20th. All right, that's good. What about you, Mauricio? Mauricio My Enrique? birthday is on January. On January? 12. 12. Very good. That's nice. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. What about the next question? When is Independence Day in El Salvador? Francisco? Independence Day. Day, Independence Day in the Salvador is the September 15th. In El Salvador is on, Day right? It's on. on. 
Uh -huh. um, right. On September? 15. 15. That's all right. Excellent. That's good. Independence Day in El Salvador is on September 15th. Very good job. Nice. What about Nidia? Nidia, when is Mother's Day? Mother's Day is on May uh -huh. 10th. May 10th. That's all right. Excellent. That's correct. Look, we mentioned something is um, very important here. <clears throat> that the TH together, the sound is like a C, like this. TH juntas suena como una Z. So when you mention here, like a is on, like a 10th, you don't say only 10, say 10th. 10th. So the pronunciation, it will be like this. And like this. So not only the number, but with this letter pronunciation. And that will be. Now, let's see. When is Father's Day? When is Father's Day, Mercedes? Hi, Mercedes. Hi, uh, the Hi, Father's Mr. Day. The Father's Day is Father's on day? Father's Day. Seventeenth. Uh, Seventeenth. Yes, <laughs> that's what <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> but, what is the month? On seventeenth and July. Of it's July July or of June. June. Uh, June. June. Exactly. <laughs> so you can say that Father's Day. Is on day is on June seventeen. June seventeen. That's mm -hmm. all right. Very good job. That's nice, guys. Good. Okay, let's erase this part. Any question with this? With the burden? Mm -hmm. We are going to continue practicing. Let's go on then. As we notice here. We are going to see about the future we'd be going to. It says that by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer yes and no questions using be going to. Additionally, you will practice a conversation about birthday plans. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So let's check here some introduction about the future. And we have that, express future plans, future plans, look, decided before the moment of speaking. So that means it's a plan, something that you meditate in the past because you want to do that activity in the future. So they are plans activities. For example, I'm going to buy a movie ticket. That means in the future, I have the plan to buy a movie ticket. That means... Voy a comprar un boleto para película, right? Another one, it will be express a prediction. So we have a prediction based on the present evidence. So you can also predict, giving predictions about the future. For example, there are black clouds in the sky. When you see black clouds in the sky, you can make a prediction, right? Sometimes you say, ah, it is going to rain. Va a llover. It's a prediction. Maybe, maybe this doesn't happen. Maybe it doesn't rain, but it's a prediction we are making here. So we have another video here about it. But first, guys, we are going to pass the list, right? Vamos a pasar lista. Just let me know if you are present, please. All right, first one, we have Adriana Gabriela. Hello, Adriana Gabriela, are you present? No? 
Alma Patricia. Presente, teacher. Thank you, Alma. Right, let me check here. <clears throat> Let's see, Anna Lisette. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Then we have Brenda Esmeralda. Brenda Esmeralda, are you present? No. Brian Alexander. Brian Alexander. Present. Thank you, Brian. Then we have Camila. Present. Thank you, Camila. Carlos Mario. Present. Thank you, Carlos. Doris Emilia. Present, teacher. Thank you, Doris. Hola, Doris. Elvis. Elvis Leonel. Elvis Leonel. No. Estela Marisol. Present. Thank you, Stella. Eva Alicia. Present teacher. Thank you, Eva. Francisco Samuel. I'm here. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you, Francisco. Good evening, Francisco. Good evening. It is Milena. Iris Milena. Thank you, Iris. Then we have Jennifer. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present coach. Thank you, Jennifer. Jose David. Present. Thank you, Jose. Then we have Karen, Karen Guadalupe. Hi, present. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. Crisia, Crisia Dorila. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much, Crisia. Luis Alberto. Present, Luis. teacher. Thank you, Luis. Then we have Luis Antonio. Luis Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you, Luis Antonio. Mauricio Enrique. Present teacher. Thank you, Mauricio. Mercedes Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Nidia Yamilex. Present. Thank you, Nidia. You're welcome. Thank you. Rosa Irma. Present, teacher. Thank you. Sarina Susana. Present, teacher. Thank you. Tatiana Maria. Tatiana Maria. Wendy Lisette. Present. Thank you. Wilber Enrique. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Wilber. William Vladimir. Present. Thank you, William. Yesenia Maribel. 
Thank you, Yesenia. And Yesenia Pamela. Yesenia Pamela? No? All right. Thank you so much, guys. We are going to continue. Teacher, yo quiero hacerle una pregunta. Hello, tell me. Eh, ¿Cómo se la pronunciación correcta de febrero? Tengo ese problema porque ah, yo en la escuela la aprendí que era febraria. ¿eh? Oh, ah, <ríe> ok. Y así, me, y así he crecido con eso, entonces a mí me cuesta exactamente ese mes pronunciarlo. Febra, February. But you can also say February. February, February. What happened is that we have two pronunciations. We have the British, it's the English, English, right? Mm -hmm. British, Italico. So you can say like, uh, like that one, February, and the North American, February. But the two forms are correct. February. It's correct, but you can say February, but not February. It's February, February. Se pronuncia la U, February. Ah, okay. That's February, it. February. You're welcome. All right. So we are here with the introduction of the going to. That is to express the future form. Let's go ahead here then with the video that we have about this specific time. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to ask and answer yes or no questions using be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about birthday plans, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Happy Birthday. Let's listen and practice. Happy Birthday. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Now let's analyze the examples from the chart. The future would be going to. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Is Kayla going to have a party for you? Yes, she is. She's going to invite all my friends. No, she isn't. She's going to take me out for dinner. Are the waiters going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They're going to sing happy birthday. No, they aren't, but they're going to give me a cake. We use be going to to talk about future events. Let's learn to form statements using be going to to talk about future events. We can follow this formula to express the future with be going to. Subject plus verb to be plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples from the chart. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. These examples are contracted, by the way. In order to illustrate these examples, I will do it without contractions. I is the subject. Next, we have the verb to be, am. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb celebrate. Finally, we add my birthday. Let's analyze one more example. She's going to invite all my friends. The subject is she. Next, we have the verb to be is. 
after that we need to include the auxiliary going to then we put the verb in bytes finally we add a complement all my friends mm -hmm. let me show you how to form yes or no questions with be going to to do that we're going to follow this formula the verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus the verb plus complement let's analyze a couple of questions are you going to do anything this weekend the verb to be is are next we have the subject you after that we need to include the auxiliary going to then we put the verb do finally we add a complement anything this weekend and we put a question mark at the end these are yes or no questions so to answer them it's quite simple just like you see on the examples towards the right hand side of the chart yes I am no I'm not yes she is no she isn't yes they are no they aren't our next example I'll choose the last question on the chart are the waiters going to sing to you the verb to be is are the subject is the waiters after that we need to include the auxiliary going to then we put the verb sing finally we add a complement to you and a question mark at the end now it's your turn to practice making statements and yes or no questions using be going to think about your plans for the weekend and write them down do as many examples as you can. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so you could watch the video there with the structure, we have the simple future form. Now let's see some other examples. As we have here, let's select this one. The structure that we follow with this time is the subject. We have subject, then we have the verb to be, is always there, it's part of the structure. Then we need to use going to, then we use verb. The verb is different, but this one needs to be in the base form and we have a complement. Jennifer, do you have a question? Yes, coach. I have a question. Okay. Eh, el examen que aparece, yo estuve revisando la plataforma mm -hmm. de las tareas y el examen que aparece, como el test que aparece ahí, ese, ese es como la tarea. Que uh, que this is like the uh -huh, different uh, activities that you have. For example, this one. Yes. Uh -huh. It's this one. Let me show you. For example, this, it says 1.4 knowledge check. Uh -huh, donde, this is donde, exercise donde dice, one. Is... Yes, uh -huh. here. But you need to listen to it. Entonces, to... esa uh -huh. es la tarea que tenemos que ponernos al día. Ah, exactly. Uh -huh. So these are exercises. Ah, Siempre okay. les, de, les van a salir ejercicios después de, de temas dados y después de, eh, de videos. Por ejemplo, acá ya vimos dos videos, de hecho. Eso nada más solo, eh, ese de acá fue el primer video que vimos. Eh, esto nada más es marca los objetivos. Ese sería el siguiente ah, video. Ajá, ya con sí. esos temas, después se hace el doble check. Uh -huh, that they are exercises. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y esos son los que anotan como puntos que realizamos uh, la tarea. 
have, Exacto. Have Ajá, estos le van tomando, ¿verdad? En consideración todo lo que ustedes han ido trabajando en la plataforma. Oh, Porque al final teacher, se va tomando. ¿Sí? Eso And ya so... es una... Eso es ya lo puede ir contestando uno, ya sale ahí en la plataforma de aprendizaje. Sí, exacto. De hecho, eh, no hay un límite. Ustedes pueden irlo trabajando. Si, digamos, hay temas que ustedes ya los han visto con anterioridad, ustedes los pueden ir trabajando. Ok. So, this is for the future. The simple future. But first, you need to listen right, to it. So, that's according to the future tense like here so let's continue here we have uh, we were mentioning that we have the subject then we have the verb to be that is always necessary here then we have the structure going to we have a verb in the base form remember base form is like the original form in this case it's celebrate and then this is only a complement another example she that's the subject is that is the verb to be. Remember here, the verb to be, you are going to conjugate depending on the subject. The structure going to invite is the verb in the base form. And all my friends is the complement. She is going to invite all my friends. So what's the structure here? We have it in this manner. I am. Or a contraction, remember? We can also use a short manner, um. Then you continue with going to, go. I am going to go. Yo voy a ir, o iré, right? But it's a plan that I have. Then you have, you are, or you're going to do. He is, or his going to see he is going to play it is going to fight you are or you were a contraction you are going to tell we are or we're going to read they are or they're going to go so all these combinations, but also it's possible to use a negative. If you say, I am not going to go, you are not going to do. He is not going to see. She is not going to play. It is not going to fight. You are not going to tell. We are not going to read they are not going to go so you can use different verbs different actions but every verb is in the base form and we have other examples in an affirmative case i am going to go to el pital next week or a contraction you can also say i'm going to go to el pital next week Another will be, I am going to meet a friend tonight. So that will be for affirmative. What about in the negative? I can also say, I'm not going to go to El Pital next week. You are going to be a good lawyer. So here we can also uh, change it, right? And to say like this, if it's or negative, we can translate it are not you are not going to be a good lawyer so those are for affirmatives and negatives but both are for the simple future tense questions about this no questions so remember that we go into is for plans, plans that we have. Coach, I have a question. Tell for me. example, eh, cuando quiero hacer una pregunta, en este caso iría el... The el verb be. Ver, the verb be, the Ajá. first. 
exactly. Example, are you going to play playing with that is bedroom? correct? Exactly. It's like this. It's our next topic. Uh -huh. It's like this. The future will be going to is like this. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Uh, or is Kayla? You need to change. You only change the position. That's okay, the, the game there that you need to change it. As always, when you formulate the question in English, you need to change the position of uh, uh -huh. the verb and the subject. Okay. So you modify. Uh -huh. Thank you, coach. My pleasure. So let's see another one. We can go ahead with the next one. The previous one. Okay, for example, here we have an exercise and we're going to mention them with different activities. Let's see in this one. In number, well, letter A says, what are these people going to do this weekend? So what are the plans that they have? We're going to write sentences, then compare with the partner. For example, number one, what are they going to do this weekend? William Vladimir, what do you think? What are they going to do this weekend? We have the answer here, right? Dance. Dance, excellent. That Dance. is the action, that's correct. Or go dancing, right? You can also say like this. This one from here. They or there as a contraction going to go dancing. They are going to go dancing. What about number two? Carlos Mario, can you read it please? In number two, what is she going to do? She's uh... She is going to read. To read, excellent. That is correct. What about number three, Luis Antonio? What is he going to do? Luis Antonio, are you present? No. Rosa Irma? Um, she's she's going to swimming. Is a he? He. He's going he's, to he's he's go oh, okay. He's uh -huh. going to rim to he's go, uh, number three. He's going to swim, right? You can say swim or you can say go swimming. The two options will be correct. Go swimming. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. Let's see if we continue with Bryant. Are you present, Bryant? No? Chrisia? Chrisia Menjivar? Yes. All right. Tell us about number four, please. What is she going to do? Okay. She is going to walk. Wrong, right? It looks like wrong. Oh, sorry. Sorry. She's I think it's It looks like wrong. that, right? <laughs> yes. She's going yes. to to run. Okay, very good. Very good job. Nice. What about number five, Sarina? They're going to go eight. Uh -huh. They are going to? What are they going to do? They are going to go eight. Mm -hmm. Okay, or to a restaurant, right? They are going to go to a restaurant wow. or they are going to eat together right also it's possible to say they are going to eat uh, dinner together lunch together right we have different possibilities thank you what about number six jose david yeah. are you present number six uh, jose david? yes what is he going to do he is going to watch television. Excellent. That's nice. He is going to watch television. Really good. Thank you. Pamela, are you present? Pamela Hernandez. Present. Hello. What about number Hello. seven? What are they uh, going to do? 
they're going to watch him. No, sería, ¿cómo se dice cine? Movie theater. Movie theater. Oh, so it can be they are going to go to the movie theater, right? Right. Can be, thank you. They are going to go to the movie theater. That's right. Thank you. Eva, Eva, are you present? Have a question. Tell me. En anterior también puede ser they going to no sé si es lo correcto they going to cinema it's true yes correct they are going to go to the cinema to uh, okay uh -huh, that's correct Thank they are you. going to go to the cinema you're welcome what about eight eva are you present no estela estela marisol Present. Yes. Hello, Stella. Can you give us like what is the number eight? What is he going to do? Ah, okay. Problems with the connection. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Then let's continue with Carlos Mario. Carlos Mario, are you present? Hola, hola. Yes. Hello, Carlos. What about number eight? Hello. Hello. What is he going to do? He's going to... Hmm? No sé qué está haciendo. He's in an office. In an office. Uh, working. Work. Uh -huh. He is going to work. work. That's cool, right? Good one. Thank you so much. So if you observe here, we have the manners of the future only, right? And they are Teacher. four plans. Hello, tell me. Teacher. Yes, tell me, Lisette. Uh, what's your name? Sandra. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, girl. Nice to hear you. <laughs> All right, so these ones are for the future. Now, we are going to read them. Yesenia, are you present? <coughs> Yesenia? <Yes>. Okay. <coughs> are you okay? Uh, are you repeating? <coughs> okay, we are going to read number three. Let's read it. He's going to swim. He's going to swim. No. He's, he's going to swim. Repeat it, please. <coughs> He's going to swim. To swim, thank you. He's going to go swimming. He is going to he is going to swim. To go swimming. He to go swimming. swimming. Thank you. Yeah. Rosa Irma. Rosa Irma. All right. Sí, teacher. <laughs> Let's uh, repeat four. number four, please. Okay. He's going. He's going to run. Very good. Thank you. Sarina. They're going to go to a restaurant. Very good. They're going to go to a restaurant. Thank you. Christian Menjivar. Number six. Number six. Okay. She's going to watch television. Really good. Thank you. Wendy, continue, please. Number seven. They're going to go to the movie theater. Very good job. Thank you. Let's continue with Jennifer. Jennifer Elizabeth. He's going to work. To work. That's good, right? Very good okay. job. That's nice. Okay. okay, guys. Do you have questions? Questions about this? Teacher, tengo yes. una pregunta. Tell me. El en negativo, la respuesta negativa no se puede abreviar. Por ejemplo, he isn't. No, verdad. You can, yes, it's correct. Yeah. You can say it. Mm -hmm. ah, you okay. can say like, uh, for example, here in number one, they are not or they aren't. They aren't going to go dancing. She isn't or she's not going to read. She's going to run or she isn't going to run in a negative. Or she's not going to run. 
Thank you. You're very welcome. Any other question? All right, then we're going to continue tomorrow with more of the simple future, all right? Thank you guys so much. It's a pleasure. Nice to meet you. Have sweet dreams. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you guys. Have a beautiful night. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, Thank See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good See you tomorrow. Good, Good night, night, everyone. Good night. Take night. care. Night. Thank, Thank you, teacher. Thank you so much. Very good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Sweet dreams. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Good night.